Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more GTN8. So we're going to do a bit more Thumbcraft today. We're going to probably do a bit more jumping around, as in um, jumping like this. No, um, uh, I don't want to sit here, you know, too long playing with this and that and blah, blah, blah. So uh, basically, last time we got our fusion up and running, uh, basically we're on the next page here. The, uh, the Adept... Uh, Th thaumaturgy i can't say the word um so basically this one was talking about uh you know you've mastered the basics blah 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 uh this one's talking about creating a better one that's not just 50 vis for example um and then we're gonna do that so you can make one of these ones basically all these ones will give you like recharge its own uh, ignis this over time so this will charge fire etc etc um so i thought i'd try that out um it does have to be placed in here so we just need one of them uh so let me do the uh i'm going to take a screenshot here and put it on paint for myself and i'll just do this uh design so we're going to go ahead and put you here you here we need the uh, fire since it's a fire rod. Oh crap! You miss, you lose out. Uh, unfortunately, that's just how it works with those. That was a, a derp on my part, but whatever. So we're gonna put a fire one here. We're gonna put a fire one here, and then we're gonna put a rod here. And then basically, we got our abacus thingy, and it'll tell us if we're good. We're good. And then we just go ahead and hit it with our one. Once we know we have enough, so. I need the fire stuff here. I have 32 here. I need beast, which I have 48, which is good. I have lots of the magic one, and I have lots of those. Okay, perfect. So there you go. It's so cool seeing this. I'll probably start doing cuts for this too, but you know, might as well enjoy. This last, uh, you know, go at it. That's consuming the items. Got one more to go over there. Good. That should be it. Perfect. That should finish that quest there. Perfect. So I guess if you want to do these for fun, be a completionist, you can. Um, energetic uh, screws. I do have a bunch of these, actually. I made a bunch for this. Also, I did have more. So I only brought four, but I brought another 64, I thought. Oh, there they are. Uh, but yeah, here's four for that. And I gave you more on that. And then they want blood and vibrant oil. Uh, vibrant, sorry, not vibrant oil. They want the uh, the blood there. So fairy blood, is it? Yeah. And then vibrant ones, which I brought those as well. Now, why for that? Trying to dust, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm not even sure. But it's just, it's there, I guess. <laughs> And then uh, more. I want more. There must be something even stronger than a Hydra. Something older, more ancient. There you go. So it keeps going. Uh, so f fairy. Oh, fairy. Fairy ta tears. But then you need tungsten. We don't have tungsten yet. So that's where you go further. So look at this. You got into the ender tank and ender chest. I'm sure I can't just make those yet. But in the future, obviously. Uh, these will be awesome to actually be able to make. Yeah, look at this stuff. IV and stuff. Nether star plates. That's fine. But like some of this we can't make yet. So uh, which makes sense. That was going to be a thing. Eventually we'd hit, you know, a plateau. Right. So. Um, so I was already working on a wand here. Well, it was actually going to be a great course staff. But um, I guess I can use this as the wand as well. huh? If I go like this and use usages. Yeah, so this is going to require 60, 70. So I'd like to use gold right away, but you probably can't. You're going to have to have like an intermediate kind of one. I know it sucks, but it's just how it is, right? So we can reduce this to 57. And even then, apparently that's inefficient because we don't have our robe on. There you go. And then there you go. 51, still inefficient, oddly enough. I'm actually not even sure what I can do. I have this staff one. Yeah, this is for this. 
This was just for fun, but uh There you go. I might need a different cap on these, unfortunately. Cause we're we're just not enough. There is another type of cap I believe you can make that's slightly better. I'm not very good with the caps and understanding all of them, but I'm pretty sure there is a cap that might help us in this case that we should have probably made before. That's better than the gold cap, so. I guess you don't even tell me, like, this is a gold cap, but you don't really tell me what's better than gold, huh? I guess what we should be doing is looking at them making the night metal, but I still feel like, because we can make the thomium stuff, but I feel like we're still just off a bit. Like, we're only one vis off, so I should see if I can find something that can, you know, fix that for us if possible. I think what we're going to do is work on better discount. So like electric uh, boots here, we're in the electromagnetic tools. Um, and then eventually I think you can unlock, uh, for example, um, oops, I did not mean to even click that. Oh yeah. Goggles are revealing the electric version ones here, and then you can turn them into the nano ones. So things like that, basically um, I will research and see if I could get something uh, better there rather than trying to make some new wand caps and stuff like that. I think I just will end up hating it, so. So, apparently, to make anti-static boots, you just put the... Was it a polarizer? Yeah, apparently iron boots in here make static boots. That's different than I thought. I thought it was just the rubber boots, but I guess these are different, you know? Because they're static boots, not anti-static boots, so... Yeah, I'm just grabbing random materials, trying to get enough of this. This is the annoying part. I'm already working on it. So to to get the stone here, you get the, the stone plates. You put stone dust in the compressor, which takes a while. Um, I mean, look at the uh, speed of that. Pretty slow. And then um, you to make the circuit plates, you have to put in a forming press. Well, you have to make this etched um, little voltage. So I use Ruby. So I use red alloy foils, made a bunch of those. Uh, which I already got a stack of them. And then you need two stone plates per one in a forming press, which I guess I could start that now, to be fair. Because I guess these are done. And then uh, these are still going, but uh, I can grab the one stack for now anyways. Yeah, it's doing okay. And then we put this in a forming press, I guess. I think I have another farming press, don't I, in here? So this will be a little quicker, at least. Didn't I have another farming press? Extruder, wire mill, maybe I'm wrong. How come I thought I had another farming press somewhere? Oh, here, this is a farming press, yeah. There you go. So you can put this in here and this in here. There you go. And then you can make the circuit plates. And then the circuit plates, basically... Basically, at that point, it's just... You have to use uh, molten redstone and torches and stuff like that and you just put that together so i will go ahead and create this stuff this is a pain in the ass but i need two repeaters okay let's see if we can do this so we still have the six seven eight of them right yeah so this is for an eight right i like how um there's there's actually more than this so this is gonna screw us over later on but right now we should be fine so Let's go ahead. What happened to our static boost? Did we leave it in there? <laughs> yeah, let's try this again, shall we? Um, okay, so we're going to put the static boots up here. We're going to put a diamond plate here and a diamond plate here. We're going to put motors on either side here. We're going to put the wiring here. We're going to put a battery here. We're going to put the boots right here. And then we're going to get our abracadabra theme of bopper. Um, I guess we put it back to see if everything's okay. I just want to make sure before I start. Now, I don't know if there's a way to see if you have all the right stuff. I think I do from the looks of it. Um, so you need 20. Oh, actually, that was the other one. Never mind. Um, you need 32 of that, which is this here. You need 32 of that, which is somewhere around here. There it is. Yes, I'm confident we have everything. Okay, no, that should be right. Okay. There we go. This one will take a while longer just because it's a bigger infusion, obviously, but... Uh, 
Yeah. When we get old, though I'm sure you guys don't want to watch this like 40 times. I like how the, I guess because I clicked here, it gets stuck on your mouse. Very sweet. So the next one, uh, this one's easy because this one's actually done over here. So this is technically very easy if you think about it. Let me just take a picture of this so I can do this easier. Um, so we just go like this and then we have you to here to here. Um, and then we have you here and here. Have you down here. We're going to need our goggles. Um, oh, it's taking some damage. Crap. Yeah, that's what I feared. The damage probably screwed it up somehow. Um, how do you repair these? Thaumia, maybe? Okay, yeah, just some gold, apparently. There you go. I like the inventory desync. There you go. Look at that. That worked. Okay. So this won't give us a VIS discount, but it will be a powered armor type style set up so that one's done and then this should be done so there you go so we got the upgraded versions of each cool which the boots will give me a discount right away by the way because uh i think mine only have one yeah um it's too bad i damaged the armor i didn't realize i did this accidentally but there you go so now the boots have uh a boost here for uh for our wand here so that's finishing that now if you want to make the nano version of these you're going to need this and then you're going to need this now this gets very complicated because well it has more pedestals than we have oh no it's two damn it i thought it was one each so i'm gonna to have to get more of those too anyways but uh we could probably try to attempt to do it on these boots first so this will be creating the nano version of the uh the boots with the journeymen so that's kind of cool okay so hopefully this one will work so this is the gonna do the uh, boot one first here um that was scary because i guess it was just lagging a wee bit there i'm gonna put you here you here you here and you here and you here as long as everything is correct. Yeah, it looks right. So I got to just double check, make sure there's all the fluids here. So we need 48 of this movement. So we got 64. Okay. We need 32 of the armor, which, okay, we got 64 and 32 there for sure. We need 24 of this. We got tons of that. We need 16 magic. Got lots of that. We need 16, um, sorry, we need 16 of this. This might be a problem. No, we got 31. We need eight feathers and we got tons of it. Okay. So we're ready for this to go, basically. Um, hope my one's left in here. I need to also recharge it, but you can do that while this is performing its magical feat. And there you go. Awesome. So we'll let that work away and then we'll come back. I charged my wand and everything, and I was pretty slow. Like I harvest a big patch, put it back, and this thing is still going. I love it. It just takes a while, so that's pretty cool. And I'm guessing when it runs out, it'll move to another source. Well, I guess it didn't run out anyways. But... That's pretty cool. I think it did it. Yeah, it looks right. Sweet. So there you go. We have the... Uh, look at that. This discount for now. Very cool. Whoa. And apparently its speed is ridiculously fast, which I did not know that was a, a thing. So that's a bonus, to be honest. You might want to wear nano suit now just for that, because nano has better durability, I think, than this, like when it comes to protection. So oddly enough, nano might be more on the table now. OK, so I went ahead and I don't know how well this will work. I'm hoping this will. But right now we have three six seven eight right we need two more for our next one um so i'm hoping i can just do something simple like this i'm hoping i can just match it up to the recipe in a sense and it's not going to be like oh you can't do this blah 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 you know what i mean so if this works in our favor oops then we should be fine yeah no it doesn't seem to care so let me set up the next recipe then 
Okay, I did an inventory. We need the sense, we need the aurum, and we need the electrum. So I have to go and get those. So basically, it's just simple as clicking this and going through. You can see some basic stuff, but then I have to go and get the, you know, these and do all that. So that'll take a bit. I'm also going to try to hunt down for this Ascentia funnel because apparently it will let me pour this into this basically, which that would be handy. So I'll see if I can find that while I'm doing this. Um, I had everything lined up and then it was like, nope, came over there. So um, that's fine. Uh, we will continue on once I get that done. Oh, and by the way, this was a glitch. So if you click this a bunch of times, it just glitches out. Sometimes it says two instead of one. But yeah, there you go. You saw two again. It's it's just one. It's just a glitch. So uh, yeah, and it makes sense because you can't put two things on here anyways, right? So it was just a glitch. So the Aurum is going to be hard. Now there is this other plant, Aurelia or something. Um, we had unlocked it. It was in the book, but the problem with that apparently is it requires like a proper moon phase or something to grow. So maybe you could do it in Twilight Forest, but because people are resetting the day so bloody fast on this server, I just can't see how you could normally do it on a server like this, to be fair. Um, but uh, I wouldn't even know where to find it, to be fair. Um, I remember unlocking it at one point, though. See if I can find it here. There were so many different things in this book. It's crazy. Maybe we can do Batania in the future. I don't know if it gets locked or gated more. It's just a wee bit of gating. You know what I mean in Thumbcraft, but. I'm just moving. Oh, this might look like it better. No. Okay, maybe not in here. I just thought because I saw something plant wise. So I thought maybe this is it. Weird. Pretty sure it was right close to one of the start nodes too, because it was just it was pretty simple from my remembering. Oh yeah, there's a search thing here. So oh real oh here he is. Oh really yeah. Upon the thumb research is always really is one extreme potential. Okay. Plant exposed to moonlight will open up his petal, let moonlight come in. Seems like the plant feeds the moon, however, due to the air very little is only possible in a full moon, the plant will occasionally lose its petals. And can be gathered from the ground near its flower. Those petals are extremely rich and really essence. However, that will only feed the, from the moon if it has direct view. Oh, and you need uh, Aurum to do it. So the other source that I think you can get, and I should probably do crops in the future, is Terrawar. Terrawar, as far as I know, is actually not hard to get. It's just, heck, we might even have Terrawar in, uh, I guess I can... I guess I shouldn't have gone in the water. I was wondering how fast to go in the water. It's not like my other suit where it flies in the water, basically. But uh, Terra Wart, we might even have gotten free seeds from it from just for the fact that we did this, right? But Terra Wart, basically. Um, it's a low level. Yeah, there you go. Terra Wart seeds. So we actually have those. So I could always do some crops for it and do the Terra Wart that way. Um, which you know what? I'm gonna do it. I was gonna use the trackman goggles, but they're a little expensive. So you know what? Let me work on this and uh, I'll make another farm here. Uh, just a small one anyway, so I can work on this. Okay, so I unlocked the research. The research was under um Thomic Tinker. <coughs> excuse me. I think I unlocked gaseous aluminite, alumina something, hyper energetic nitre, and then the essential essenta funnel. And this should make it so. I've never tried this before, but I'm guessing you just place it on top of one and that's it. So we'll see how this works, I guess. I was hoping it would be more intuitive. I guess I should probably look at how it works. Entire moon of the vial. Transfer contents to one of the above a hopper. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's related to that. So let's see if this works here.
Is that working? No. Oh, maybe you just do this. Oh, here we go. Okay, that was actually kind of cool. So, does it think that these hold 60 only? Is that why? A bit weird. Yeah, weird. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that might not be a good thing, though. Yeah, I think we just accidentally... Yeah, I think we screwed up and lost some of that. I don't know if it's buggy or what, so... I think the way you want to do this, possibly, would be something like this. And then you have this guy, and then you'd have this guy. And then you do your, you know, your stuff, so... Uh, for example, 32 and 32, right? So what I would do here is put this one here. And then I would right click this. And then it fills up. Oh, okay. Oh, you know why? That's why it didn't glitch out. It just didn't update. That's why. It didn't update. Okay, that's that's fine. So now we know it was working. I don't know how to remove these or if you can remove them. Maybe you can with a wand. I just don't know how you deal with labels, to be fair. I'm not sure how you remove a label off of a... Apparently shift right clicking with an empty hand. Oh, there you go. And it looks like you get the paper back. Oops. Perfect. That way I can get rid of the empties and stuff like that. Okay, I like that, so... That's cool. This one's empty, so I might as well grab it. Okay. My thing's not on, is it? No. Okay. Well, that's cool. That'll come in handy anyways for me to uh, empty jars that are, or, you know, when I accidentally put two in one or just want to, you know, empty it, obviously. Um, so that's really cool. So, yeah. Okay. I'll make life easier anyway, so cool. I just want to show that off. Now, out here, I'm working on Terra Root. Um, I don't know if I told you where I got Terra Root. I think we might have started. I don't even remember, to be fair. But anyways, um, the Terra Root, I think I got from Quest, so that was simple. Um, so this is probably something dumb, and I don't care about it. Honestly, I just want more Terra Root to duplicate it, to be fair, since it's like the only source for now of the one. So this is Terra Root. So, or uh, Terra Root. Did I call it Terra Root? This looks like weeds, so obviously we got our weed trowel here. Oops. There you go. And uh, this is something else. Unless if it's something cool, you know, I'm just going to be like, okay, I don't want it, obviously. So. And then uh, over here, these are weeds, right? Yeah. Don't forget they say right on them, too. So um, you don't have to scan the weeds themselves in that one. I already scanned for Terra. So I'm just like going to duplicate these a wee bit, just at least on the outside here if, as much as I can. And then I'm just going to literally go back to grabbing these and then scanning them. I'm just taking my time. So and that way I can use them. Okay, so we should be ready now. Um, I collected the Aurelia whatever stuff over here. Uh, Aram. 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 Um, which was what we were missing and oh the census we got and then there was these guys too so yeah no we should be good um so yeah well let's rebuild this again or i guess we never actually did this part because we realized we kind of failed i'm hoping i can still do it this way i guess we'll find out if it's wrong or not i think the instability was six so it should give us a warning about instability six if it's wrong or if there's something wrong with the recipe or whatever. That looks like it's correct. So there you go. There you go. So this is going to take quite a bit of resources this time. Oh. Well, I guess I could use this to lug. I can't see anything because of... Uh, there you go. Because I don't have my goggles anymore. I mean, technically you have these guys here, I guess. There you go. Now you can see the numbers. So this will take a bit. It'll drain them. I'm hoping... Oh, yeah, they are. I was hoping they would drain these uh, outer ones first. I don't know what the range is on this, so that's the only freaky thing. I would assume as long as it's within this part, it should be always fine, so... Um, 
Um, I don't know how high it'll go either, but I'm hoping it can go pretty decent, so. It'll be a learning experience one day if we fail. Hopefully your main recipe never fails. Like, I don't mind if... Well, that would suck if that failed, to be fair, but... Well, it's already taken everything, so it's doing all the other stuff now. Like, there's pretty expensive parts on here. If it failed, it would suck. That's all. There we go. We got it. Awesome. And this will have night vision on them as well, so that's cool. Uh, we've done it before, but the, obviously the nano version of the night vision. I won't go through that because we screwed around with that before. Um, okay, perfect. So there you go. Nice. We got like a nice little full nano thing here. But we also got nicer discount as well. So that's that's the beauty of this. So uh, originally we were trying to make this guy. Um, I guess that shouldn't be too much of an issue anymore. We need more of this. I got to put more of this into this. Oops. There we go. How are we? Oh, this is on. Yeah, we did a reboot at one point, so my stuff disappeared, the UI a wee bit. Okay, so we got this, and this should obviously work now. So this will give you capacity of 75. Now, keep in mind, it is iron cap, but uh, it'll get you started. Now, I did make it something else here. I don't know if this would work. I think it needed a lot more than that. Yeah, it needs 60. Yeah, so we got that. I mean, you only get 50, right? So you could do that with the iron cap, and this would turn into something even better. So um but you'd have to have 75 okay so you could do the 75 give you 125 capacity just like that so um which would be pretty incredible to be fair so i might just do that next to be honest let's go and take a picture of this so i have it okay let's make this then perfect and then we can go ahead and fill this now the iron cap, I guess there's, uh, well, you, oh, actually the, we might have some problems because uh, of this cost. Okay, maybe it's not so bad, but you have to remember all the stuff. Wait, is that because I'm wearing stuff too? Oh, I did not realize that was a feature. Okay. I did not realize that was based on that. So, but still it should be okay-ish because, you know, it's going to be better than what we had, but obviously it's still going to be a little more expensive. But I'm, I'm interested if I'm able to make that staff or if I'll be short. I feel like I'd be short, to be fair. But there will be one way to find out, to be fair, so. Okay. A little bit more here. Okay, we good? We're good, it looks like. Yeah, so we could try it out anyways for fun, see if uh, it's possible. Like I said, I feel like it might be short, unfortunately, for this thing, but it said 60, but you have to remember we don't have all the goodness out of that, so. I mean, you still get a bit more because it's 75 versus 60, so it might, it might fix itself. I guess it's uh, one of those things is we'll find out. But if I can get that to 125, then that's going to help us make whatever after pretty easy. That's for sure. Oh, wait. I have to remake caps, obviously, because I would have wasted the caps on there, right? I was like, I don't think I have any other caps, unfortunately. So I'll have to make some new ones. Uh, so you got that. And then, oh, yeah, you got these guys. Oops. So let me make some more caps. Apparently, I just got a wizard staff has a knob on it. Oh, because you had to have the iron caps. <laughs> okay. I was like a little confused on that one for a second. Okay, so um, we should be able to hopefully make this one. Oh, yeah, look at that. So just under it. And look at that. That's 125 capacity now. So this is an actual staff staff, which I think is kind of cool. Now, hopefully, I didn't screw this up because. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, I did make this and I forgot all about this. I have to make another one for the quest. Um, so ro rose gold was actually just copper and gold mixed into this. So you go into the mixer or copper, yeah, and gold. I just wanted to let you know how I made that because that was ages ago now. I did this off camera. I was hoping to make the staff and stuff originally just for fun and, you know, it'd be an off camera thing. And then we do our thing still, but it never actually worked out, obviously. So um, it is what it is. Now, I thought I had those Naga scales. They might not be in here. Uh, wait, no, you don't need the Wait, what? Why did I think I needed those then? Okay, let's collect these guys. Oh, I don't have all those either, do I? Oh, no, there they are. That was weird. So you got to collect one of each of these, I think. And they're going to be, I, th I think they're in order too, which is actually nice. Except I might be, oh, no, here it is. The fire one I thought maybe was missing. Actually, it might not be in order then. Uh, Yeah, no, that's not in order. Do, 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 do. Okay, blue, green, blue, green, and then uh, you and you, and then the multicolored one. There we go. Now, probably best to still use this because this is, you know, you're just saving at this point when it comes to this kind of stuff. So cool. So something I just learned, uh, depending on what you have first, uh, will come first on this. So like, uh, um, I had these switched around at first and there was nothing filling in this, even though I was using this to punch this and literally it's whatever is in order on your hopper. I told you before that I had a feeling that, um, you didn't have to have the item in there so I could be picking these with another hand or plant them or whatever, and it would still slowly be charging up the one. And that is correct, but it's based on whatever one is in order first. So, uh, on the hot bar, so probably over here to, you know, to the end. So, um, make sure whatever you're charging up like this one is first, but now you can use this as an overflow when you're doing those as well. So that way you're not, you're not wasting as much of it or whatever. So that's kind of cool. We're learning some cool stuff here. So I guess I'll use this for another time, right? So uh, there you go. Perfect. I'll finish that quest, I think. Yeah, there you go. And they gave us two more too, so that's pretty cool. Cool. There we go. And then I guess this is done over here. Oh, there's a quest for this. Even better. Cool. So we're getting lots of little quests done here. Very cool. Okay, so um, now I guess there's a conductor. Awesome. This is tungsten, so that's not going to happen. Unfortunately, that's out of our league at that point. Um, I don't think we have tungsten. Oh, fancy rendering. Of them. I've discovered a way to assign. Yes, yeah, so the ender tank. I guess we don't have these yet, but I'm guessing... They're going to require something a lot more to the tech, right? So even if we unlock them right now kind of thing, we assume they're going to be a lot more expensive than we expect. That would make sense in my opinion. So, oh yeah, here they are. So there was the ender chest. Actually, I think we already unlocked the ender chest. So, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we could make it though uh, in that sense. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's going to be gated, unfortunately, with the other stuff. So, But yeah, no, that is pretty good on the magic. I was actually surprised how far we got. Um, there's other things I want to make, like, you know, all this other stuff. I think a lot of it might be like, I'll just show you if I make it over time and how I did it, and, you know, learn a bit. Because I'm finding a lot of things are kind of like, I need to play around with it hands on and then teach it to you. Um, but I think that's fine at this point. Uh, we've done lots of thumb crafts, so I think we can finally take a bit of a break on the thumb craft side of things and, uh, we'll go from there. We'll see what's our next project. Who knows? Maybe it'll be Britannia. <laughs> uh, maybe I won't be that evil right away, but, uh, no, I think we did wonderful. I mean, we got this cool gear and stuff here, which is awesome. I guess I can charge it, you know, provides the, the has set, set here. So it's, it's pretty cool though. Um, and uh you know i had a lot of fun so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well please don't forget to subscribe comment like all that fun stuff and we'll see wonderful people next time oh and i'll probably upgrade my staff and things like that off camera I'm just gonna let you know you know make better ones but uh yeah thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day bye